creating thermodynamic fluid effects in 3D Suji Max is a hard nut to crack. With the release of Thinking Particles Subscription Drop 2, we offer new tools and new features to create thermodynamic effects. In this video, we will talk about this. Welcome to the Thermodynamics feature video. This scene is made out of two boxes and particles. The lower box is meant to heat up our particles. The upper plate is meant to cool down the particles. Our thermodynamic system is able to track exactly how far a particle is away from these boxes. First thing we do here is create the particles with the position born. Nothing special about it, we just create the particles in the center of these two plates. The real magic happens in this dynamic set, where we have our smoke solver. We have all the smoke uh, components, we have the solver itself, we have the smoke group that sets our fluid dynamics, the ranges that sets the color and the render. However, the most important part is the boundary operator. The boundary operator controls our thermodynamic effects. It takes an object you can pick from your scene. In this case, it's box one. And you can assign to this object several aspects of a thermodynamic object. There are many parameters you can adjust. However, we will concentrate only on a few. Let's play back and check the scene. We can see the fluid falls down because it's cold and it heats up as soon as it hits the plate. And the same on the opposite side, it cools down, falls down again, heats up again and rises again. All the effects you see here, all the whirls and all the thermodynamics going on here are done in real time. All this playback you see here is not pre-recorded. There's no need to cache a simulation or do anything special. You just play back and you can see your thermodynamic fluid effect in the viewport of 3D Studio Max. And this is possible because of Thinking Particle Subscription Drop 2. Here we see the fluid is falling down and getting into contact with the lower plate, which is meant to heat up the fluid. As the particles uh, become hotter, they pass on their heat as well inside of the fluid. So we have proper thermodynamics going on. And this is controlled through the boundary operator. And the one parameter we want to talk about is the heat emission parameter. I'm changing this now to a value of 1.0. And this means that the heat is instantly transferred. So it's now much faster how the fluid is heating up. And it's rising much faster now because more particles are hotter. And the same, the opposite effect on the cooling plate, the particle cools down faster and drops down, heats up again and cools down. And there we have the cycle. This is a very powerful feature. Now let's change the setting to a much lower value. This means now the heating of the particles will need much more time. We will see that when the fluid comes down, gets in contact, it takes some time until all the particles are heated up and then it rises up again. So this shows how easy it is to control thermodynamic effects in Thinking Particle Subscription Drop 2. It is a really powerful feature. The next setting we want to discuss is the influence radius. Actually, our heating up happens much earlier than on contact. And this can be visualized. We really have a radiation-like effect here. So heat can radiate from objects. And these little dots you see here indicate our influence radius of the heating plate. I can increase that and you will see instantly that now the influence radius is much, much bigger and the heating begins much earlier. And the same is true for the cooling plate as well. So this lets us control exactly how fast we want to heat up gas fluids and where we want to heat them up. It is a really powerful feature in Thinking Particle Subscription Drop 2. 
Best of all, the fluid dynamics are fully procedural. You can feed in parameters. You can control procedurally any aspect of our fluid dynamic, including these thermodynamic settings I just showed you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos as well. There's a lot to learn about Subscription Drop too.